All right, so today is Friday the, fuck, what is today? Like 20th, 21st, somewhere around that range. Last night was the Thursday night game where the Saints went into Arizona to take on the Cardinals. Now, I haven't done one of these, let me just talk about the Saints videos in a while because I haven't actually gotten to watch a game in a while. But I was able to watch the first half and I refuse to watch anything else. I, I'm not even going to lie. After the... The fuck was that? Sorry, a car. I don't know if you guys heard. There's just a car horn that just went off near me. But anyways, point. After the second pick six in, what, a minute, a minute and a half, I said, nope, can't watch this shit anymore. Turned off my... T <clears throat> excuse me. Turned off my TV. I was like, I've got other shit I can do. I think I finished the episode of Munogatari I was watching. Like, I took a walk. And as I was taking a walk, I was still following the game because I can't just ignore it. And I was like, okay. Okay. Maybe I'll watch the fourth quarter. Like, if they can make it interesting, if it looks good. Okay, the Saints got a field goal. Oh, okay, we got to stop on defense. Man, we got the ball back in really good field position. And three and out and a punt. <sighs> really? Looking really? You're down 11. You got the ball at, like, pretty much the 50 yard line you could go you can get some more points some real momentum and then you don't do shit on offense oh look and then the defense just lets the cardinals go down the field and score because of course they do really dog really like I, so i have a really good friend who is a cardinals fan and, and i had a brief conversation last night like about the cruise he's going to and a few minutes later after he hangs up he sends me a text he's like oh by the way I completely forgot to ask during the call. So how does it feel to be dog shit in football right now? And the response I gave him was, you know, it's it's a new feeling. It's taking some getting used to. I just have to keep reminding myself that there's no hope and no light at the end of the tunnel. And he got a good laugh at that. And it's not completely true. It's also not untrue either. Um... I, I, I say this a lot when it comes to football. At this point in the season, there's a lot of time left. We have played seven games. We're two and five. That's fucking bad. There are still 10 games left. You run the table, you're 12 and five, probably a playoff berth. Let's say you split them and then you're, what, you'd be eight and, fuck, what's eight and 13? Wait, no, that doesn't sound right. Oh, no, yeah, because five. Uh, you'd be eight and 11. That makes me like, wait, what the hell? <laughs> I was adding six to the total number of games instead of the, the losses. Eight and 11. That's bad. You are very much not making the playoffs. But if we can win a majority of those games, if we can win a solid eight, nine, and finish 10 and seven, 11 and five, it's doable. It's, I don't know if my, I don't I have no idea if my math there even for sure. We wouldn't finish 11 and 5. We'd finish like 11 and 6. Sorry, it's, it's weird getting used to 17 games and I have no notes. I didn't write anything of this down. I'm just going off the cuff. Maybe what I said didn't make sense, but essentially what I'm saying is this. With 12 games left, a lot can happen. Going into this week, we were one game back of the Bucks and the Panthers and the, not the Panthers, excuse me, the Falcons, who we've already beaten once. Depending on what happens this week, worst case scenario, we are still two games back. Best case scenario, it's still only one game back if they both lose. Two games back with 12 games to go, that is a lot of time. They can fall apart. We play them each once. And again, we've already beaten the Falcons, which is really, really helpful. But the clock is ticking, man, and... We've lost, we've only lost one game by double digits. That was the Bucks game because it was super tight throughout, either 3-0 in our favor or 3-3 for most of the game. And then when it rains, it pours, man. Jameis went pick, pick, pick. Like, all right, well, we just collapsed at the very end, but all right. And we lost by 10. And that was with totally collapsing at the end of the game. All Every other loss within one score, eight points or less. I see that as... We are, I don't want to say we're a tough team because we keep shooting ourselves in the foot, either slow starts or penalties, which is weird because the last few games we haven't started slow. Had a lead against the Bengals for most of the game. 
had a lead in the Cardinals. They were up 7-0, then 7-3, then 7-6, then 14-6. Okay, now it's tied. It's 14-14. Pick six. All right, you know, it bounced off the receiver's hands, went into another dude's hands. Callaway, need to catch that kind of shit. But you know what? Mistakes happen. We are still in the game. Five, six plays later, another pick six. They're like, okay, now we're just fucked. Now we went from being tied. We went from being up to being tied to being down 14 points in the blink of an eye. <clears throat> it's it's just so frustrating. Like I saw, uh, I saw a post last night. I was like, hey, our defense is supposed to be really good. What is this defense actually good at? Like, do they get a lot of turnovers? No, I think we've had, like, one or two all year. Like, some insanely bad number. No, it can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. But it is really ridiculously low. We have the worst turnover margin in the NFL. Okay, are they really good at generating pressure and getting sacks? Not really. Like, we were up against the Bengals, and I think we only got, like, two or three Remember in week one and two, like after that, Burrow was sacked 13 times with seven sacks, six sacks, or it was vice versa. We only got like two or three. What the fuck, man? Like, is it tackling? No, because there's always at least one really long score that we give up because we don't tackle. Jamar Chase's game winning touchdown. Man, like was barely touched. There was the, uh, I think it was Kenneth Walker, the Seahawks running back. Boom. Ah, what was his name? The Panthers guy. It's like Chanel, Chanel, something like that. It was like a 69 yard touchdown because it was a bomb. No, it was like a fucking check down, but no one could tackle him. So we're ass at sacks. We're ass at turnovers, ass at tackling. Can we cover? Sure. But we're also probably going to give up one deep touchdown per game at the minimum. I think Tyler Lockett was just eating us up when we played the Seahawks. Granted with Lattimore out, it's a lot harder, and we have a lot of missing pieces on offense, on defense. I get it. We had a lot of missing pieces last year, too. We were still 9-8. and eight. We were a Rams choke against the 49ers away from being the seventh seed. Now, it's still... Like, I get it. When you don't have your pieces, you can't be at your best. It makes perfect sense. But there's a very clear difference from what they were able to do last year, which was still missing the playoffs, but getting close. Like, there was that sense of fight compared to whatever the fuck this was. And as much as I love my team, as passionate as I feel about my team, I just had that sense of watching the rest of this game is a waste of my time. And then from the little bit of checking the score, I was like, yep, I'm right. We're down 18 points in the fourth quarter. Do I think we can do this? Because that's that's still doable. But do I think we can do this? Do I think our offense can score three touchdowns? And do I think our defense can stop them multiple times? And like maybe get an onside kick? I don't think we can do any of that shit. Now, apparently we scored like 17 in the fourth quarter. It's like, oh, look, they came to life. They were able to score in garbage time. But did it matter? No. We still lost because we were down big. And it's, it's frustrating. Clock is ticking. We need to get our shit together and we need to get it together fast. Now I still love my team. I'm still going to support them all year. I'm not wearing my Saints shirt right now because I already packed it for the cruise. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to wear it with pride because I love my team, but fuck, we look bad. It's, we look lost and that's the problem. It's. It's so frustrating, but 12 games left. Wait, why am I saying 12 games? I, I, the fuck? I think I mean 10. Yeah, we played 7. 12 games to be a 19-game season. No wonder my fucking math was wrong. 10 games left. That's still a good chunk, but... Man... Ugh.